أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تمسك بسنته إلى يوم الدين أما بعد Continuing our theme of Ramadan in general and in specific about the consciousness and devotion towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rather indeed the whole of the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directly or indirectly is focusing upon developing that devotion and that emotional feeling of commitment towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that leads to the quest or the search of the end result that all of us Muslims that we aspire to gain whereby the whole daily theme has been a reminder of trying to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and get closer to that paradise as human beings we all want a quick reaction or quick result to be given to us for our actions upon this earth that's even the Quran sometimes it touches upon that لَهُمُ الْبُشْرَى فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا فِي الْآخِرَةِ It will give you the bushra, the glad tidings inside this world and inside the hereafter. But many of us have become, become those individuals who want the glad tidings in this world. We don't seem to understand the lesson of Ramadan or the whole point of abstinence whereby we're refraining and controlling ourselves until the end of the day to take that blessing. Those 29, 30 days that we control ourselves, if you place that as a resemblance to maybe 29 or 30 days of our life, or 30, 29 or 30 day, years of our lives which may be left, subhanahu wa ta'ala, that if we can wait through this month, why can't we wait until the end in meeting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And thus the efforts that we make. The difference between our efforts and the efforts which the Quran discusses here inside Surah at Tawbah as well is they did not just make the actions, they had the intention within themselves. That those people who remained behind, they had an equal desire to become like those individuals or those individuals who spent small amounts of charity that may be the munafiqun, the hypocrites, were looking down upon them, were scoffing at them, were belittling them. But in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the reward is multiplied for those individuals because what exists inside their hearts. That could be another prime difference between us, this Muslim Ummah today, and those individuals. That their hearts, قلوبهم Safiya, their hearts were pure and devoted and committed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And no remnants of nifaq or hypocrisy existed inside their hearts. Today that we find a large portion of our hearts whether we'll take the various forms of nifaq that we find, of i'tiqadi or amali that we find, maybe one side, maybe in a belief that we have hypocritical beliefs, and the other side, hypocritical actions that we have, that is, or are our actions done seeking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and gaining that end reward, or if we become individuals who want to seek only from this dunya. Thus you find in prophetic traditions, the encouragement to do certain actions to gain something inside the hereafter. Numerous traditions that we find whoever does such and such adhkar or does such and such action will have such and such given to them inside paradise. Where guards their tongue and guards their private parts are guaranteed for that individual a place inside paradise. And if you study all these prophetic traditions, they all revolve around the concept of trying to carry out certain actions to gain that paradise whose width is that the heavens and the earth. We want to continuously gain things of this dunya. No one is against this dunya. But we need to begin to store away reward inside the hereafter. And amongst the ways of storing reward for the hereafter is to have moments inside our life of doing actions sincerely. And I'm sure all of us are familiar with these actions that nobody knows about them except for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whether it be the night prayer or making dua, giving of charity, helping another individual. That is the real, the real believer that within themselves that they begin to exert their efforts in trying to do good actions. 
that will help them inside the hereafter. On that day whereby we find يَوْمَ لَا يَنْفَعُ مَالٌ وَلَا بَنُونَ إِلَّا مَنْ أَتَى اللَّهَ بِقَلْبٍ سَلِيمٍ On that day our children, our wealth will not avail us except for the individual who comes with a pure and a sound heart. And that should be our aim and our focus inside this month of Ramadan, trying to purify our hearts, purify ourselves that we become more closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And amongst the ways to purify ourselves physically as well is to give from our wealth. As the Quran mentioned, You're never going to attain piety until you don't spend of the things that you love. So thus a Muslim is the one that spends of the good things that you possess upon other individuals. We can see, not to sound too political, the current climate and the status of the Muslim Ummah at the moment and the hardship and the sufferings whereby all of us on a daily basis we eat well, we dress well, we live well and we still, we complain a lot. This has become a common culture amongst us Muslims to complain a lot in comparison to what takes place in the world at the moment. Our trials are very minimal. We have no real sufferings that we have, but yet we become a ummah and a nation and begin to complain, especially us living inside the West. So we should be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of our physical state, our financial state and our spiritual state that we haven't been tested in such a manner that these things begin to get taken away from us. And that's what we heard being recited as well, that say if these things become more beloved to you, your parents, your children, your family members, your beloved ones, your dwellings, your houses that you stored and the wealth you put away, become more beloved to you than Allah and His Messenger and striving and struggling in various formats in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then wait until the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes so we as Muslims should not become content with this dunya begin to use this dunya to work towards the akhirah store up the good deeds inside the akhirah so as many of you heard the announcement today we've become on behalf of our masjid which has been established quite recently to raise funds for this masjid, as you heard, this masjid for the last 40 years was preaching Christianity all across the area. This same building now, alhamdulillah, has become the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And just from January till now, we've had a number of shahadas inside this masjid already, alhamdulillah, by permission and grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And our aim is to go back and continue and to preach the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and bring people towards that. Indeed, that we know that the people around us and the society around us don't want people to return back to the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But we'll persevere and persist until we meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because who is the best individual? Who's the best individual than the one who calls out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, calls for righteous actions, and tells the people to submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? That is what our da'wah is about. Submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which automatically leads to submission to the teachings of prophetic traditions and to adapt and to adorn ourselves with the prophetic traditions of the Prophet So I ask you brothers and sisters to be generous towards this building. All of you are welcome to come and see the building as many of the brothers from this masjid have attended. Sheikh Ahsan, Sheikh Aqil has come to visit the masjid and seen and they can vouch. Brother Naeem from the committee this masjid will vouch. The masjid is standing there, is running at the moment. So we implore all of you brothers to donate generously towards the cause of completing the paying of the debt of this masjid. And this will go inside your meeting of hasanat and sadaqat. will benefit all of you brothers, inshallah, in spreading the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, especially that which we, we hope is more authentic approach in delivering the correct teachings of the Qur'an and sunnah inside this society. Wa akhiru da'wana alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Barakallahu feekum. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم